So I just wanted to set the scene a little bit for the uh, discussion that we'll have uh, in a moment about polygenic risk scores, what uh, I see as their huge potential and some of the challenges in, in getting them into healthcare systems. So many of you will be aware of the background, but we've learned from about 15 years of human genetic studies that if you take any complex human disease, indeed if you take any complex human trait, uh, there are tens or hundreds of thousands of genetic variants which affects susceptibility to that trait, which change someone's risk to the trait. So many, many, many variants, but all with small effects. If you have an A rather than a C, at this place in your genome, it might increase your risk of heart disease by 1%, and a G rather than a T here might increase it by 2% and so on. So the idea has been around for a long time of combining those small effects within an individual, aggregating them, and that's what's called a polygenic risk score. So if we did that for lots of people, for everyone in the room, we'd end up with a distribution of scores. Most people would end up somewhere in the middle because they have some of these variants which bump their risk up a bit and some which bump their risk down a bit. Some people would end up at one end because they've got rather more of the variants which increase risk and some at the other end because they've got rather more of the variants which decrease risk. So that idea has been around for a long time, but I think there's been a step change in about the last 12 months for two different reasons. The first is that we now have large enough studies of the diseases themselves to do a good job of identifying which of the variants, the many variants across the genome, which contribute to risk. That's the first point. And the second is that uh, we have a resource in UK Biobank which is large enough to allow us to measure what the impact of these polygenic risk scores is. In principle, they should be helpful with uh, segregating individuals within a population according to risk. So we can measure that.